Oh my God, I love this chair. It just feels good, you know? Like it knows me. You want something to eat? You must be hungry. Starving. I didn't even get bread or water. Thanks for bailing me out. Hey. Really? Hey? Jay. Julian? Um... It's been a really long night. This will be quick. All this time I thought it was me. But last night, I finally realized that it's not me who's fucking up this whatever it is. It is not a relationship, that's for sure. I don't even think you know what those are. The problem is you. I at least know who I am. I also know who you are. <sighs> Come on, it was a joke, I was joking, that was, it was funny. I actually care about you. But you're so caught up in what you think you should be or what you want to be that you're missing out on the only thing that matters. Right, who I am. Goodbye, Ryan. Julian. You really fucked that up. Oh, you think that's funny? You think that's really, you think that's funny? You are in no position to pass judgment on anyone else's life today, okay? You lost that privilege when you got yourself arrested for prostitution and possession. Thank you very much. He's yummy. Tell me what happened. I was totally entrapped. I asked if he was a cop and everything. What did he say when you asked him that? Now that I think about it, he didn't really answer the question. Diverted by talking about his mustache. He had a mustache. It was a setup. Why would you get set up, Jay? Do you really think there are cops out there who have nothing else better to do than to call up rent boys and entrap them for solicitation? I don't know. He had a fucking cornucopia of designer drugs and a little toiletry bag, which he never touched once. Maybe that smack. Please tell me you did not do smack. No, I did not do smack. I'm not a complete idiot. Look. I know I should have bailed out of there. It felt dangerous. I was nervous. But he was hot. And he had a mustache. Are you listening to the words that are coming out of your mouth? I mean, I'm saying this to you as a friend. I'm in your corner. I want you to do well. But Jay, you got to pull it together. Don't lecture me on how I need to turn my life around. In case your memory's a bit foggy from all the drugs you've done in your life, let's not forget that you didn't pull your shit together until you hit middle age. That's why you should listen to me, you dumbass. Just because you're in this fancy new apartment doesn't mean you've changed. None of this shit is yours. You're the one fooling yourself. It's not too late to do something with your life, Jay. Maybe this is what I'm supposed to do with my life, Ryan. Not all of us can be superstars. Maybe some of us are just you know, here? Maybe I'm just here. Fuck, I have a shoot today. I gotta go. Did you give any more thought to what we talked about? To what I asked you? You're asking a lot. I don't have a lot of options. I am not getting stoned with my mother. Okay, I guess I'm getting stoned with my mother. We would need to stay married for two years. You'll fly by. The older you get, the faster time seems to move. A hot minute ago, you were wet in the bed and afraid of the dark. I was never afraid of the dark. Mm. I had to sit with you till you fell asleep. I used to love to play with my hair. 
We need the marriage to look authentic. The INS is going to be up my ass considering my history. We need to take photos together. I need to know things about you. Like what? Your favorite color. Green. He likes earthy tones. Favorite foods. Still peanut butter? Okay. Whatever it is you think you're doing, it's real cute. But I'm not falling for it. What? I'm not doing anything. I'm just trying to help facilitate a transaction. I'm willing to pay you $20,000 for each year that we're married. That's $40,000. $40,000. $40,000. $40,000. I'll buy a hell of a lot of that foie gras. Okay. <clears throat> I see what's happening here. It's all like it's, it's coming. It's like sinking up. This has your grubby paws all over it. You expecting you cut from this? I'm not asking for a dime from you, baby. It would be very low risk, Ryan. I mean, we know each other a long time. We have a lot of history. We know each other for 10 years. When your mother showed up on my doorstep without anywhere to go and looking for you, I took it as a sign. Sometimes I don't even have sex. I just hang out. You hang out at the sex club? Well, it was better than at a bar or a club. In here, you pretty much get what you see. Out there, you never know what you're going to get. True. A little mystery is good, though. It keeps people intrigued. Can't give it all away. You keep some for yourself. That's a toughie for me. I hate that about myself. I want to be the one with the intrigue. Damn it. We always want what we can have. If we're actually drawn to people and things that were good for us, how fucking bored we would all be. Okay, and you maybe like to grab a drink sometime, you know, in the real world. I'll give you my number. What time is it? I'm not wearing a watch. Fuck. 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 Sorry. I'll see you around. Hey, uh, so, sorry, I'm late. There were, like, no A-trains running, of course. The transit system in this city needs, like, a massive fucking overhaul. You took the A-train from your place in the East Village? That's probably the issue. <laughs> the A doesn't run in the East Village, silly. I was coming from the gym. Oh, okay. Which reminds me, I didn't have time to shower since I was running late, so can I jump in yours? I stink. Mi casa, su casa. Thanks, I'll be back in 10. Okay, look, just email Gwen, all right? She takes care of my schedule. <laughs> mm -hmm. I got a jet. Something just came up.
How was the party? Was it a blast? Hmm? Do you ever wonder what life would be like if you could have everything you ever wanted? What do you think about quail? I was thinking about adding quail to the menu in the fall. I think quail sounds great. I love quail. Awesome. Maybe with chanterelles and blackberries. Cool, cool. Yeah, that sounds good. Oh, I know what I was going to ask you. How do you know when you're in love? I don't think I've ever really known it. Come on. You will. I'm not even sure I'd know it if it was happening to me. You'd know. You can't stop thinking about them. You miss them when they're not around you. You miss their smell. They make you laugh. Sounds painful. And it hurts so good kind of way. Oh, the tuna I bought today is so fucking beautiful. The color is ridiculous. It's gorgeous. Sweet. Looks like the gym is agreeing with you. <laughs> you look very relaxed. Thanks. I really want to get back in shape. I just feel like I've, you know, let myself go. You look great. You think so? Salt and pepper hair, and it's like the beard. It's like, it's very Clooney meets Anderson Cooper. It's hot. You think I'm hot? What I'm saying is, you should feel good about how you look because you look great, is what I'm trying to say. Well, that's sweet. <laughs> I didn't know you felt that way about me. Felt what way about you? You know? Attracted to me? Okay, um... Yeah, you're an attractive guy, but I... Good talk. I've been thinking about you a lot lately. Me too. You've been thinking a lot about you lately too? <laughs> Typical. Don't be such a hard ass, you know what I mean? Do I? What are you doing here? I thought we said everything there was to say at your, um, what was that? Oh yeah, your engagement dinner. Remember that? You got married. I always need something. Greedy bitch. And I always get what I want. So where's your homeboy? Writing pelican briefs and cross-examining witnesses. Probably. Sounds fascinating. Pays the bills. I'm working on a deal that could potentially be very nice. I'm gonna open my own supper club. Working on a deal. 
I'm sure I know exactly what kind of deal it is that you're working on. I'm sure you do. Tiffany? I'm Cartier. Nice. Thank you.